it is humankind's first look ever at the far side of the moon. It was a lot rougher than the front of the moon, the side that's always exposed to the Earth. We were like three school kids looking into a candy store window. Our noses were pressed against the glass. We forgot the flight plan. Then, something happens that no one has predicted, and it turns out to be an even more amazing sight. When I looked up and saw the Earth coming up on this very stark, beat-up lunar horizon, an Earth that was the only color that we could see, uh, a very fragile-looking Earth, a very delicate-looking Earth, I was immediately almost overcome with the thought, you know, here we came all this way to the moon, and yet the most significant thing we're seeing is our own home planet, the Earth. Though their mission is to photograph the moon, all three men focus on the Earth. Bill Anders takes a picture that gives humanity its first look at our home as it really is. Earthrise. All of the views of the Earth from the moon have uh, let the human race and its political leaders and its environmental leaders and its citizenry realize that we're all jammed together on one really kind of dinky little planet and we better treat it and ourselves better or we're not going to be here very long. As fate would have it, it is Christmas Eve. NASA has planned a live television broadcast from around the moon. We were told that we would have the largest audience that ever listened to a human voice when we made our TV broadcast from uh, the moon on Christmas Eve. And the only instructions that we got from NASA, do something appropriate. The largest audience in history. The first words from another world. But what should they say? I didn't want to take the time to worry about that when we had so much else. And Cy Borgen, who was a friend of ours with the U.S. Information Agency, suggested, how about reading from Genesis? So that's how it happened. We are now approaching uh, lunar sunrise. And uh, for all the people back on Earth, the crew of Apollo 8 has a message that we would like to send to you. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the Earth. And the Earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light, and God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. There's a lot of times in my life when uh, I've been uh, brought to tears by the, just the power, the immensity, uh, the beauty of what we, what we were doing, and this was one of those days. And God saw that it was good, and from the crew of Apollo 8, we close with good night. Good luck, a Merry Christmas, and God bless all of you, all of you on the good earth.